Okay, so uh, this is a subjector from the shaft layout. 3.1 as a layout of components. I take from the Shigley Mechanical Engineering Design book, chapter 7, shaft and shaft component design, and all the images from this slide I take from Google. For the azure positioning and layout of housing, it is best you put the shaft in between two bearings. You see here in the exam question that I take from Google here, you see uh, the shaft is supported by two bearings here and here, A and B. Okay. The second configuration is cantilevered outboard bearing where the pulley and sprockets often need to be mounted outboard for ease of installation of belt and chain. The length of the cantilever should be kept short to minimize the deflection. Okay, some in most cases, uh, you have to you have to put the uh, the pulley, the sprocket outside the bearing to make it as a cantilever. As long as the beam is short, okay, okay, we we want to minimize the deflection. Okay, how about long shaft? Okay, usually we put two bearings in the shaft. It's necessary, but it is if the shaft is too long, you may put more than two bearings. But the problem is, is the alignment. So make sure you make proper alignment to the shaft. Deflection of shaft. You have learned about deflection in mechanic of material subject in last semester. Okay, basically, if you put some weight on the shaft in the cantilever shaft, the shaft will deflect. If the shaft is too long, it is sure will deflect. So, the first thing is make sure the shaft can must be short as possible. Okay. Uh, and shaft should be kept short to minimize bending moments and deflection. Some edge space between components are desirable to allow lubricant flows and to provide excess space for this assembly of components with a puller. Of course, because you want to uh, assemble and disassembly of the, uh, the shaft elements such as pulley, sprocket, and everything shaft components must be accurately located on the shaft to line up with other mating components okay it is important to make alignment because if you don't do not do a proper alignment the shaft will go left right left right up down up down so your machine will be problematic Okay, shaft shoulder. Okay, this is called shaft shoulder. This is called shaft shoulder. Okay, the primary primary means of locating the component is to position them against our shoulder on the shaft. The purpose of a shoulder is to provide a solid support to minimize deflection and vibration of the component. Okay, that's all for this video. We will continue in the next video on supporting Azure loads.